Like any other sport, football can get very emotional and tempers can sometimes boil over and lead to confrontations. But you know it is real when players of the same team confront each other while a football game is on. Fights between friends, families, colleagues, and teammates are bound to happen. It strengthens bonds and helps teams work together as a better unit, especially when the issues are addressed afterwards. But these fights are usually had behind the scenes and rarely make it to the public. Even in the media-crazy world of football, fights between teammates are usually reported and not seen by the general public. Imagine the chaos if these fights are public. We will now bring you 10 times teammates shock their fans by fighting on the pitch while playing against an opponent. But before we dive in, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it if you haven't. Number 1. Champions in Fighting Ligue 1 2020-21 winners LOSC Lille came back from the break and immediately descended into chaos. In one of their preseason games against Kortrijk of Belgium, two of their players got sent off for fighting mid-game. The brawlers were a Portuguese pair, Jica and Tiago Jalo, who were sent off by the referee after an argument escalated into a fist fight. Jica, who was reportedly upset with his teammate's performance in the first half, confronted Jalo, who didn't take well to his teammate's hounding and escalated what was supposed to be a friendly on-pitch argument into a massive scuffle. This was but a simple case. Number two had blood and thunder all over it. Number two, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Oguchi Onyewu. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is notorious for starting stuff with everyone, including teammates. He once threatened to break Rafael van der Vaart's legs while at Ajax and punched Jonathan Zabina in the face while at Juventus. His most infamous altercation with a teammate happened on the training ground, however, when he was at AC Milan. At one training session, he clashed with Newcastle Loney Oguchi Onyewu. After the Swede made a two-footed tackle on Onyewu, Zlatan, a black belt in Taekwondo, got into a wrestling match with the equally strong USA International. Zlatan wrote of the fight in his biography, I headbutted him, and we flew at each other. We wanted to tear each other limb from limb. It was brutal. We were rolling around, punching and kneeing each other. We were crazy and furious. It was like life and death. Thankfully, no one got hurt, and fans didn't get to witness the absolute madness that took several men to break apart. On to another training ground scuffle. Number three, Danny Drinkwater and Yata Pelotero. If there's any player in football that'll be desperate to make a mark, it's the fringe player. Danny Drinkwater joined Aston Villa on loan from Chelsea, looking to revive his staggered career after his £35 million move from Leicester City in 2017. In March 2020, just a day after Aston Villa lost 4-0 away to Leicester City, the players not selected for that game trained at the club's Body Moore Heath training grounds. An argument between Drinkwater and Yata became so heated that the Chelsea loanee headbutted his colleague. That was a move that almost cost Drinkwater his season, as he was on loan from Chelsea during that time. Both players didn't get to feature much for Aston Villa that season, though, making life harder for themselves as footballers. Number 4. Hugo Loris and Sun Hyung Ming In Tottenham's drab 1-0 win over Everton in July 2020, the biggest talking point came when the halftime whistle blew. Despite being in the lead, Hugo Loris was unhappy with Sun Hyung Min for not tracking back in a late attack started by him losing the ball. The goalkeeper confronted his teammate as they made for the tunnel. Their argument, which seemed like a friendly one, began to get heated that the pair had to be separated by teammates. They both hugged it out after the game, but imaginations were piqued as to what could have happened and what could be happening behind the scenes in the Spurs dressing room. Number 5. Emmanuel Adebayor and Nicholas Bentner Big egos and football are just two things that cannot be separated. Just like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Emmanuel Adebayor is another player with an appetite for infighting. But his most iconic fight was in 2008 when he played alongside Nicholas Bentner for Arsenal. 
It was a North London derby, and Arsenal were losing badly. Sometime during the game, Abadeyar headbutted Bentner, cutting his strike partner's nose and bloodying his shirt. It wasn't much of a fight because Bentner was too dazed to retaliate, but it gave the media a lot to talk about. It was also the start of a lot of problems for Abadeo's relationship with Arsenal fans. And we wonder why he did that infamous knee slide celebration against them. If a fight involving either of Abadeo and Bentner is not much of a surprise, our next one at number six most certainly will. Number six, Arian Robin and Frank Ribery. Arguably the game's most popular and lethal wing duo, Robin and Ribery, dubbed Robbery by fans, were a joy to watch for neutrals and fans of Bayern Munich, and a nightmare for many fullbacks and defenders of opposing teams. Their friendship was so pure on and off the pitch that a fight between Robbery was a scenario that no one could even predict. But it did happen, and in a Champions League semi-final game versus Real Madrid in 2012. What was the reason? A mere free kick. Both prolific set-piece takers, the other wanted to take the free kick, but the other refused to budge. Ribery reportedly punched Robin during the argument, and although Bayern refused to comment on the incident, Robin told all the media in 2017, we've always got on really well, and it exploded between us once. But the incident only made us stronger. It was really a shame. We've played together for such a long time and experienced so much together. It actually doesn't tell the whole story. Actually, it is just one incident in eight years. Ribery added, at a later interview, sometimes these things happen in football. I approached Iron later and said it's over. It did make them stronger, and the world of football felt it. Back to the training ground with more incredible teammate fights. And number seven has a particularly nasty ring to it. Number seven, Joey Barton and Usman Dabu. Just like this would be incomplete without the king of bust-ups, Joey Barton, a footballer who was more famous for his countless misbehavior than his actual talent. During a workout session in 2007, the Englishman hit teammate Usman Dabu several times, sufficient enough to take Dabu to the clinic. He suffered a damaged eye and filed charges for his wounds against Barton. Barton was sentenced to four months in jail and was suspended for six games and paid damages for the injuries to Dabu as well. This list could easily be about Joey Barton, but there are many others that deserve a mention like the hilarious case in number eight. Number eight, Alan Shearer and Keith Giuseppe. We can understand feelings getting the best of players in the middle of a game or during training sessions, but it is hard to justify how cutlery contributed to Keith Giuseppe landing in the hospital thanks to Alan Shearer in 1997 at Newcastle. Giuseppe told TalkSport in 2016, we were away on a half-season holiday, and I unintentionally dropped some cutlery off the plate. He looked over and said, take that up. And I really didn't like how he talked to me. I only turned around and said, now, outside. And on the challenge, he took me up. I was walking out in front of Alan thinking I've got no chance here. Just get the first punch in at least. I thought I'd swung and missed. Alan says I actually clipped him but it couldn't have been much if I did because he swung once and caught me on the side of the head and I fell and hit a plant pot. Shearer paid a visit to Giuseppe the next day to have a conversation to smooth things over, but the funniest thing to come out of all of it was the team officials having to tell the police that Giuseppe was a victim of a hit and run driver. How else do you relate a story of a player getting knocked out by his own captain? We end this unique list the most recent incident. Number nine, Marçal and Karim Aktagoglu. Galatasaray defender Marcao was sent off in their season opening game against Goresanpur in August 2021 after seeing red for fighting his own teammate. In the 61st minute, Marcao headbutted and threw punches at Aktagoglu before being separated by members of their squad. Marcao was dismissed following a VAR review of the incident and will likely face further punishment for fighting on the pitch during the 2-0 win. According to Turkish league regulations, this incident classifies as an assault 
and could result in a lengthy suspension. Marcao could face a ban between 5 and 10 games. And we have come to the end of this list. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. Why not leave a like and comment on exciting topics you would like us to discuss in the next video. Thanks and bye for now.